show you how to set up filters in your Gmail or G Suite. So this is filters and labels. This is really helpful. I usually have my inbox as zero um, and it helps me stay super organized. As you can see, I have all sorts of labels on the left side and even more right here. You'll notice that um, all of these, they don't have an, uh, any sort of indicator that I have unread messages in there. And, but these do, these ones at the top uh, show how many unread messages I have from each client um, or platform. So uh, here's how I do it, here's how I set it up. I'm just gonna simply go to the email and I'm gonna see who it was from. Okay, I know this person. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that email. And then what I'm gonna do is go right here and uh, I'm gonna set up a filter. And I'm gonna say that an email from, any email from jwoodmanpbt at gmail.com uh, I'm going to create a filter. Now I can do other things uh, here, other conditions, like it's greater than a certain size or, uh, you know, has an attachment, as you can see, has a specific uh, word in the subject line. I can set up really specific things, like let's say I'm working with a client and they're sending me an email. Uh, I can have all their emails go into a certain label for a specific project I'm working on, but if the subject line says something else that's a different project, it's gonna go into a different label. Now that's just another example, but this this is the simplest way to do it, what we're doing right here. It's just from this email address, I'm gonna hit create filter, and all I'm gonna do is hit skip inbox so that it doesn't go into my inbox here. Uh, I don't want it marked as read, I want it marked as unread because I haven't read it yet. I'm gonna apply it to a label. Now choose the label. Now the labels are what's over here. Now what do I want the label to be? I want it to be Joel Whitman PPT. Okay, and now everything's gonna go in that label. I never wanna send it to spam, and I wanna also make sure I'm applying it to any conversations. As you can see, there's only one conversation from the email, it's this one right here. But if there were 20 conversations in my inbox or in other labels, then it would also appear in the new label I just created. And then I'm just gonna hit create filter. And we're gonna see it disappear from my inbox here in just a second. There we go, it disappeared from the inbox. And as you can see, it showed up right here. Okay, now, I mean, and, it, and I had already accidentally clicked on it to, to read it. Um, so let's say I only want it to show up here if, um, let's see, right here, if, uh, if it's unread. What I can do here is just click the little button there and then hit show if unread. Now, it's not gonna show up anymore because it's already been read. This is a really great way to keep all your emails organized. What I do is I just make sure that anything I need to get done, this sometimes functions as a to-do list right here and I know that these are unread emails. But then if I want it to come back, I'm just gonna hit that check mark and then hit mark as unread. And it's gonna show right back up here at the top of my list. Otherwise, if I have read it, it's gonna go all the way back down here to where, let's see, yep, there it is, right there. So that's a nice and easy way to keep your inbox organized. I've done this with hundreds of emails in my inbox just to keep it uh, super organized it helps me keep a clear mind uh, because honestly like if I'm if I'm sifting through emails and I have a, an email here from a client then an email here from a client and then this one's from a different one and this one's from a different one it's really hard to like stay in one track of mind like okay I want to do everything for this specific client right now well now I can do that very easily with these labels on the side here I can make sure that I'm focusing on one client at a time instead of just jumping around from client to client client to client or email to email. Okay, I hope that helps. If you like this, this video, please like and subscribe. Please share it and uh, please give me some feedback. Thanks guys.